The Toyota Tundra is finally coming to Australia. The Japanese car giant has signed a deal with the Walkinshaw Automotive Group to convert the vehicles from left-hand drive to right-hand drive. There'll be some cars on the road in 2023, and if that program's successful, they'll arrive in showrooms in 2024. But today, we've been given a sneak peek. Let's check it out. Drive was able to get an early preview of the new Toyota Tundra with the help from an owner who was kind enough to allow us to test the vehicle on a recent trip to the US. Hi, my name's Wayne, this is my Tundra, and welcome to Utah. While it's not yet clear which versions of the Toyota Tundra are coming to Australia, the vehicles spotted testing locally have been the flagship capstone edition. Think of it as the holding Calais of the Tundra lineup, a leather-lined luxury model. It's possible a second version of the Tundra could be added locally, such as a mid-grade SR5 or hardcore off-road TRD Pro. For now though, it's anyone's guess, because Toyota Australia is keeping its cards close to its chest. Toyota says approximately 300 prototype vehicles, converted to right-hand drive locally by the Walkinshaw Automotive Group, are due on Australian roads by the end of 2023. If that validation program is successful, the Tundra could be in local showrooms in 2024. Fortunately for us, we have the top of the range capstone to test. In addition to all the luxury features inside the vehicle, it's equipped with an electric opening tailgate, although it still needs to be closed manually. There's a step that pops out from under the rear bumper for easier access to the load area, power operated side steps, and a fully retractable rear window. Under the bonnet is a twin turbo 3.5 litre V6 petrol engine paired to a hybrid system and an electric motor. Toyota calls it iForce Max, and it's more powerful than the V8 it replaces. In the US, the Toyota Tundra Hybrid has claimed combined outputs of 326 kilowatts and an epic 790 newton meters. This includes a 250 newton meter output from the 36 kilowatt electric motor. The battery pack is old school nickel metal hydride and has a claimed capacity of 1.87 kilowatt hours, which is enough to move the Tundra from rest and get up to about 40 kilometers an hour before the petrol engine takes over. Based on US testing protocols, the Toyota Tundra Hybrid consumes fuel at an average rate of about 11.7 litres per hundred when unladen, which is about a third less than its V8 rivals. Inside, there are massive digital screens for the instrument cluster and infotainment system, large storage consoles with plenty of charging options, well-placed buttons and dials for air conditioning and infotainment controls and driving modes, heated and cooled leather seats, and acres of space for backseat passengers. Time to take it for a drive. The first big surprise, as with other Toyota hybrids, the Tundra will move from rest on electric power, providing you gentle with the throttle. Floor the gas and the twin turbo V6 comes alive. The Tundra is also surprisingly quiet for a full-size pickup. The suspension is supple, and while I wouldn't say it's car-like to drive, it certainly feels like a luxury SUV. It's very apparent that Tundra shares its DNA with the new Land Cruiser 300 series. In fact, that's part of the secret to the success of the conversion program. A lot of the components going into the right-hand drive version of the Tundra are actually straight off the 300 series. Part of the reason it's so quiet is we have the capstone model. It gets acoustic front glass and front side windows. The Toyota V6 Hybrid delivers more grunt than the V8s from Ram and Chevrolet and better fuel economy. It's eerily quiet until you do this. <laughs> the reason you can hear that subtle engine note is it's all artificial. The Tundra Hybrid is so quiet, Toyota had to create an artificial sound that it sends through the audio speakers. Oh, listen to that. That sounds cool! <laughs> Can you hear that? It's almost got a bit of a supercharger whine. Clearly Toyota was worried about some backlash having moved away from a V8, so they just made it sound like one. Can you hear that? That is amazing. I hope these microphones are doing it justice, but there's a bit of V8 and a hint of supercharger whine in there as well. Right now, we're in normal mode. 
but one turn of the dial and it sharpens the throttle response. And as we would also discover, the Tundra does an excellent job of disguising its size and weight thanks to well-tuned suspension. Even over this patch of rough road, the Tundra's doing a really good job of soaking up bumps. Although the steering wheel is on the wrong side of the car for us, the Tundra feels SUV-like to drive. In the US, the Tundra is available with AVS, Adaptive Variable Suspension. It's effectively air suspension on each corner of the car. The example we're driving today doesn't have it, and we're not sure if Australia will get that standard or as an option. The only downside with suspension tuned for comfort rather than heavy cargo, the Tundra's payload is capped at about 650 to 700 kilograms, which is in line with other US pickups, but less than the one ton payload typical of the Toyota Hilux, Ford Ranger and other popular utes in Australia. However, the Toyota Tundra Hybrid's towing capacity is up there with other US pickups, rated to tow in excess of 5,000 kilograms with the correct hitch. As you might expect with low profile highway tyres, this does not feel at all like a Toyota Hilux. This feels like a luxury SUV with a very big boot. In fact, this same steering system is used in the 300 series. It's light and easy around town, but also sharp when you hit a winding road. Plus sides, the cabin oozes quality, it has acres of space, and there is no shortage of power. The brakes also have a reassuring feel and do a good job of pulling this truck up, even though it weighs more than two and a half tonnes. Downsides, if you can call it that, if you order a capstone with white leather, might be a bit hard to keep the interior clean. But other than that, first impressions are really good. Right now, Ram and Chevrolet dominate the US pickup market in Australia, and the Tundra is a niche player in the US. But those tables could turn when the Tundra turns up. To read the full review of the Toyota Tundra Hybrid, go to drive.com.au. Please hit like if you've enjoyed this video, and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any future updates.